Uh, now, the reason why we have northwest winds, the front that came through yesterday with those stronger thunderstorms did produce some severe weather reports, especially to our south. Uh, a little bit of hail reported north of Hebron, but we did have that one funnel cloud, that one brief tornado warning north of Fairbury. A couple of wind damage reports in northern Johnson County and then toward northwest Missouri. As far as rain goes, yesterday, parts of the metro, I know at my house I'm just shy of a half an inch, and I'm basically I-680 and center. There are parts of western Sarpy County that got a half inch to an inch of rain, but there are also some places in the viewing area that didn't get any. Looking at you, Dodge County, Cumming County over toward Columbus and then parts of southwest Iowa. And now we have dry air coming in, so rain chances zero the rest of today. Temperatures low to mid 60s for a lot of us. Still some upper 60s left toward Bellevue and Glenwood in the metro, but this is the big change. Dew points in the upper 50s. Feels awesome outside. That front way off across eastern Iowa now. Clouds decreasing early this morning. Lots of sun in the forecast today. But the break from the humidity is going to be short lived. This front's already starting to lift back north across parts of Colorado and Kansas, and that's going to bring more humidity to our forecast tomorrow and eventually some chance for some severe weather late on Sunday. But the humidity is falling this morning with temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s in eastern Nebraska, probably mid 60s in Iowa. Plenty of sun, 77 at noon, and those northwest winds could be gusting 15 to 20 miles an hour at times, keeping temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. So there goes the front. High pressure builds in today. That's what keeps the winds light. But then on the back side of it, that warm front's going to start to lift north later tonight and into tomorrow. There's a small chance that western parts of the viewing area, Columbus, Norfolk, maybe David City, could see a brief shower or thunderstorm. Then that warm front comes through. South winds bring temperatures back into the upper 80s, brings the humidity up tomorrow. And then as this cold front swings through late tomorrow evening and overnight, you saw those dark reds. Some stronger thunderstorms are possible. A slight risk of severe weather for most of eastern Nebraska and western Iowa tomorrow. But this is going to be near and especially after sunset. Most of Sunday, just fine. It'll be warmer and humid. But that potential for maybe some small hail, maybe some damaging winds and heavy rainfall, that's going to be Sunday evening and into Sunday night. And then that front lifts back north again. And we're going to see more heat and humidity. Low 90s Monday and Tuesday. Maybe a couple of hit or miss thunder showers late Monday and again Tuesday night and again late Wednesday. But the better chance for impactful rain and thunderstorms will hold off into the end of the upcoming week.